No, no, no. I know. Hey everyone, so the live is going to be on very soon, but as people were making fun of me before, I touched my hair way too much apparently, so we we're making a game out of it. A shot game. You drink whatever you want, but every single time I touch my hair on accident, you take a shot of something. Like I said, it's a game. It's going to be a fun drinking game. You drink whatever you want. I'm drinking water because I'm on a diet, sadly. <laughs> but guys, all I'm saying is, if I touch my hair like this, like I just did now, <laughs> you take a shot. Now I gotta take a shot. That's all the game's gonna be. And I'm gonna be uh, interviewing a puppet today. It's a really funny guy, so you wanna stay on because he's gonna make you wanna laugh. But other than that, man, it's gonna be a good time. And then uh, I'm gonna put him on right now. His name is Peter, and it's gonna be a cool car. I'm just waiting for him. That's about it. But uh, guys, I hope you had an amazing day. Hey, my man. Hey, what's up? How you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. So tell me about yourself. Uh, my name's Elmo, and I I'm on TikTok. I make like funny videos. Man, that's amazing. So your name is Elmo. So like the Elmo with the red one. Uh, I'm I'm the blue one. I'm the Walmart version. <laughs> Please tell me you're gonna be making me laugh every this whole time because <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna try. <laughs> All right, so Elmo, so this is how it's gonna work. So every single ten minutes to eight minutes, we're gonna be doing jokes just for fun. And then apparently I'm doing a challenge with my crowd is that they all make fun of me that I touch my hair too much throughout the video. So they're all gonna be taking shots of whatever they're taking. I'm doing water. So we're just going to be doing that. So if I touch my hair, call me out and say shot, and everyone's going to take a shot. Sound good? If you, if you touch it a bunch, can I say shot, 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 so shot, 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 shot. Absolutely, man. That's a, that is the plan, okay? Okay. All right, by the way, you are so goddamn attractive. Have you seen yourself lately? No. God, man, it's beautiful. It's like looking in a mirror. Holy man. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. So my first question to you is, what do you do for work? Work? Yeah. Well, I, um, I make TikToks, and that's about it. That's about it? Actually, that's yeah. a very hard, challenging thing. I'm starting to get into TikToks, and it's not easy. And seeing, I started off with Instagram, so TikToks is a new thing for me. And it's actually being, uh, it's quite difficult. So what would be the advice that you would give to everyone to get some popularity from it? I would say make sure to post often, post stuff that you think people would want to see. And I would say just be consistent, try to get your name out there, try your best, that's all you can do. Dude, that's absolutely true. Would you say being TikTok is luck or do you, would you say it's about the luck to get popularity or do you have to actually try and be consistent like you're saying or is there a little bit of luck to it? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Um, it's a little it bit helps, of both? It helps if you're either really funny or attractive. So there you go. <laughs> well, that's why you got so popular then, because that's easy. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> oh, shit, I, I touched my hair. All right, man. So my next question to you is, why do you like making people laugh? I mean, why not? It's so fun. Like, if I make you laugh, it, it makes me feel like you're having a good time. It just yeah. makes me happy. Dude, that is actually a great thing. I love being happy. You're already making me smile like crazy. Like, I can't believe I'm interviewing you. You're such an amazing person already, and you're making me smile. Like, you can just see the smile on me. But uh, my question is, so what does happiness mean to you then? What is happiness? Yeah, what does happiness mean to you? The word, what does it represent to you? What do you think of when you think of happiness? Wow, you're getting deep on me already. <laughs> um, it means to really enjoy life and forget your worries and just be present in the moment and have a great time. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. So, you know, making people happy is actually not an easy thing to do. A lot of people have a hard times in life and they go through a lot. And so being happy is not an easy thing, especially now with COVID is that you're always inside. You have a lot of jobs went away. Not as much people are making money or not seeing people they love. 
So what made you want, so the reason why you did all this, did you want to help people be happier through these hard times these last couple of years? Yeah, I think there's a kind of a shortage of family friendly entertainment. And so I want to be somebody that parents can be okay with their kids watching, you know, just make people laugh and have a good time. Yeah, like I said, forget your, your problems and just have fun on the internet. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. So how old are you? I'm six. You're six. Holy crap. Man, you're six? Man, you're way smarter than me at six. I can tell you that right now. I had dyslexia. I had issues. I could barely speak. Like, I was speaking Chinese for the first six years of my life. I could not speak at all. It was a That's hard impressive. Time. Yeah. <laughs> it was a hard time in my life, man. So it's so impressive to see a six-year-old on here talking like they have no issues, man. Yeah. All right, so my next question to you is, what is it like being on a TV show? Like right now, you have the vibe to me, like you could be the most popular puppet out there. Like it's just a good vibe. So why is that you've been on some TV shows like you told me? What is your dream? What is your goal with those things? My goal is just to be as, I don't know, as exciting as possible okay. to, reach, to reach a lot of people and just... I don't know, make everybody laugh and have a good time, basically. Yeah, man, that's the best thing to make everybody laugh and have a good time. What has been the struggles in that? It's not easy to make people laugh. It's just not everyone has the humor and just wants to laugh like crazy and have a good time. So has it been hard to find your techniques, the things you have to do to make people laugh? Yeah, so I, I go on Omegle a lot and do videos on there. And there's a lot of people that skip me immediately because they don't think I'm valuable. Okay. And and there's, yeah, there's some mean people out there, but you just have to, you know, block out the haters and do it for the supporters, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. I mean, I get hated on a lot. I mean, I wear nails, all, I wear nails and I like, I wear lipstick for photo shoots. I wear makeup. I'll do all these things. I'll wear girls clothes and things like that because I was uh, afraid to be myself for a really long time. And I thought this was holding me back because people were making fun of me and stuff and bullying me for it. And I get bullied for it all the time, being called um, I'm gay and that there's something wrong with me. That like the other day, somebody made a comment saying, "Man, if the if the if the world goes into war again, you're not gonna be able to do crap because you got uh, red lipstick on and nails on. You're just a bitch." They would just call me that all the time. That's yeah. sad. Yeah, man. It's like, why is the world judged? That's really the question. And so that makes you such a cool guy that you bring happiness in this world and you make people laugh. So I mean, you know what? Screw those people who made fun of you and screw those people who were rude to you because you know what? You seem like a great guy. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely, man. All right, man. It's been about eight minutes. Tell me a joke. Let's hear it. Okay. Did you hear about the two artists that had a contest? No, I haven't. It ended in a draw. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay mine's better why did the bike fall over uh i don't know it was too tired too tired too tired oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> okay so you told me you were on some tv shows and that you're working your way up to become famous that's how i that's what is that main goal of yours to become famous is to be uh, inspiration people Okay, I so I mean, who doesn't want followers, right? Yeah, absolutely. So th what does it feel like to be a star? What like, does it feel good? How, how does it feel to you? It feels good. I mean, I like I like surprising people. Whenever they're not expecting me, I just pop up out of nowhere. And they get so excited because I guess I'm cute. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely cute. I mean, the blue is in right now. The blue is absolutely in. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, my man. So the thing is, like, in this realm, you get a lot of people on Instagram always commenting about just attractiveness, like who you are, and everything like that. So how has it been in the realm of getting ladies and gentlemen? Are you a stud? Are you a crazy man? I got a girl. Okay. Tell me about her. Tell me about her a little bit. Oh. Her name's Elma. <laughs> Your name's Elma. Okay. 
Yeah. Come here, baby. Oh, there she is. Oh, woo! <laughs> How long have you guys been dating for? Uh, three or four days. Three or four days? Wow. Man, that's a long time, especially. So, like, I'm dating someone, too, actually. Oh. Tell more. She... Huh? Tell me more. Tell you more. She's an amazing person. She's an artist and a musician. Oh, wow. And uh, she's helped me through a lot of emotional things where no one else was there for me. And uh, she's a super cool person. And uh, we're doing a music video, actually together yeah whoa that's so cool yeah i'll make sure to send you the song uh after this to uh so you can hear it i would love you to be able to uh it's not out yet we're doing a music video we're about to do it soon but i would love to uh send you the song and the music video so you can post it just show people it's about the it's the inspiration uh depression and to uh show people that you can get out of depression so i definitely would love your help and support with that okay cool yeah absolutely so you like pranks. That's just one of your things. Absolutely. What would you say would be the, one of the funniest pranks that you've ever done to someone? Um, I have a friend that's six foot nine and we, we came up with an idea to have him go up to other people and ask them how tall they are. Cause he always get asked that. So it's really like ironic that a tall person would ask a not tall person how tall they are. I don't know. It was funny. <laughs> You want to know why I get that so much? Guess how tall I am. Uh, four foot eight. Ooh, you were close. Six, six foot, uh, six five. That's close. Yeah, that was close. I'm six five. It was just a little off. Oh, wow. That's cool. So, yeah, I definitely feel that. I've been told, I've been asked every single day of my life, how tall you are? Do you play basketball? All these things. It's the most, I love it though. I think I, usually tall people get annoyed by it. I love it. I love being tall, and I love people showing it off. That's awesome. Yeah. So how tall are you, by the way? Let me guess. Uh, Let me like... guess. Let me try to guess. So hmm, with the hair, the spikiness, it gives you a couple of inches. You're, so you're cute. You're attractive. So I can't see all of you. So you're taller. I'm going to go with five feet. No, I'm like, t I'm like a foot and a half. Really? Man, your confidence does not seem that way. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, my man. So back to the little bits of the questions. Where are you from? Where did you grow up? Oh, I'm from uh, Echo Town. Say that again? Echo Town. Describe that to me. I had no idea what that is. Never heard of it. Echo! Uh... <laughs> It's one of my talents. Everybody from Echo Town can do it. <laughs> you sound like Elmo. I, uh, my friends call me the seagull because when I laugh, I sound like a freak and I make, I sound like real, like my uh, throat goes exceptionally louder. <laughs> wow. It usually scares people a lot. <laughs> okay, I got to focus. <laughs> I got to focus. Give me one sec. All right. <laughs> What are some goals of yours? Tell me some goals uh, for this year, for this next coming up year. What is your some of your goals? Uh, well, I don't. Whoa, well, I don't get out much, so I just wanna. I'd like to see the world. That'd be so cool. Yeah, that would be amazing. What is a place that you would love to go to? I want to go to Universal Studios. Oh, okay, so uh, tell me about that. So you did a little bit of acting, and you're funny, obviously. And that's just, that's a great start to be able to go into that. And what is your dream into going into the studios? What is like that one acting job you really want to do? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't like all the attention on me. So I don't think I'd want to be a main character. But okay. I like being in the background. You know, I want to be there, but I don't want to be like front and center, you know? Got it. So that's actually, um, that's actually quite uncommon. So for a guy like me, I want to do some acting. I mean, I'm going into the modeling. I, it's not like I'm trying to be cocky or anything, but I like being, I like being the front. I like to get the main part because it just, it just sounds like more complications. It's more harder. It's just more challenging, and it sounds more fun to me. 
So that's actually quite uh, rare to hear someone who goes into the acting and those things that just wants to do a side part of it. So what made you not want to be the front attention? What was that? What made you want to be in the side part? Uh, I'm kind of shy. And mm. I, I don't like a lot of attention because okay. I just, I don't want to be famous. I don't want to be famous, famous. Like I like my privacy in my normal life. So okay. I don't want to, I don't want to be an actor because you just, have everything taken from you. Everybody wants pictures all the time and you just can't live like how you want to. Yeah, I, uh, I agree with that. I've experienced that a little bit. It's, uh, it's kind of, it's uh, definitely very interesting and it's, uh, it's a little scary to be completely honest. I mean, I've had some really big creeps and a lot of people follow me and they've come to my house and things like that and they've just like, they, it's very creepy and they'll like try to text me all these weird things like you wouldn't imagine all the dms i get there are some crazy dms man oh wow so uh tell me about that so with the modeling world you get crazy dms you get uh all kinds but mostly sexual dms are just not as good as they could have been yeah yeah so some crazy ones man some crazy so what kind of dms do you get since you um do more funny things um I don't get a whole lot of DMs. I'm not very popular. Oh, I don't believe that. Have you seen yourself and see how funny you are? You made me laugh like 10 times, man. Like, that's not a joke. Like, you know how hard it is to bring people a smile? Like, that's one of the things about I want to do is that when someone sees my Instagram, it brings a smile to their day. So if you can bring a smile to any individual in the day, I think that's amazing. So what you're doing is awesome. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So what is your biggest dream? Like, that one dream is like, really want that one thing oh that's really tough okay tell me uh, give me some ideas okay so i i don't want to be real world famous but i don't mind being like internet famous so i guess my my dream is to be like known online i guess i don't know okay so no online so if i looked you up right now would i be able to find you i think so okay so what so can you, uh, sorry, I don't know, I'm having, it's, um, sorry, my tongue is, uh, my sex is just kicking in a little bit. It's, uh, it's Elmo, correct? Yeah. Okay, awesome. So you're the Walmart Elmo, and that's amazing. Who doesn't love Walmart? Um, so what made you want to have the name Elmo? You never want to change it, or just you want to stick with it? I kind of want to change it. Oh, what is that? Okay, so here's the story behind that. Okay. I have a friend that has a little brother. And I did a phone call for the little brother, and he thought I was the real Elmo. So I was like, okay, well, this was really fun. I got to do this online and, like, make other people laugh with it. So I kind of sound like Elmo, and it's a cute name. So I just thought, yeah, I'll go with that. <laughs> That's actually really cool. So yeah. do you feel like you make a lot of kids happy because you use the word Elmo? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. So you like to make people laugh. You like to make people happy. What's that area of group that you feel like you make the most people laugh? Like, is it more at a teenager age, the kids age, the adult age? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the TikTok age range is probably, I would say, 20-something and under, mostly. Okay. So All right. I know that a lot, of, a lot of kids watch my stuff because I get duets sometimes from kids, like, pretty young. I'd say, like, maybe 10. Man, that's super cool. Would you... What is it like being a puppet in the human world? Um, it's kind of hard because I don't have legs. I can't walk. I, I'm, I'm kind of just stuck most of the time. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, that was good, that was good. All right, man, back to the jokes. I want you to give me two jokes now. You told me you were the joke master, so I wanna hear some. Uh-oh. Okay, why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Because that had too much cream? He lost his filling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, one second. Okay, my turn, my turn. Why did the farmer win an award? I don't know. He was outstand in his field. He was what? He was outstand in his field. He was outstand in his field. He was outstanding in his field. 
All right, let me try another one. You don't get that one. Let me try another one. Why can't your ear be 12 inches long? Why can't your ear? Yeah, why can't your ear be 12 inches long? Because it would because, be a quirk? Yeah. God dang it. Give me one more shot. Give me one I'm more sorry, shot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Won't, I won't scare your jokes anymore. Go ahead. One more. One more. Oh, no. If you got it, guess it. Because you're the joke guy. So I try to write down as much joke as I can. Okay. okay. Why can't animals take tests? Too many cheetahs. God dang it. Okay. I'm going to try one more time. <laughs> you are a jokes meister. That's for sure. All right. Why do you call a cow with two legs? Okay. Okay. Lean beef. Oh. Nice. Yep. All right, my man, back to you. Give me another joke. Let me see if I can guess it. You like the cow joke. Okay, hang on. Did you hear about the cow that got hit by a car? No, I haven't. Dang it. No, no. It was an utter disaster. <laughs> All right, all right, you win this round. You win this round. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, what would you say, so we're back to the human. So you have no legs at all? What do you do with your life? I know you make jokes and you have fun and all that stuff, but I mean, so does your girlfriend have legs? No. Whoa. So what do you guys do then for fun? What are you trying to say? What do you think I'm trying to say? You have no legs, no lower body. What are you guys doing for fun? We mostly just sit around till we're needed. Ah, what do you guys usually like to eat? We don't eat. What, you guys don't eat? I don't have to eat anything. I'm always the same size. Don't have to work out. I always look like this. You lucky person. You're so beautiful. You're in shape. And I freaking have to go outside every day and do two times workouts, do diets, and I'm killing myself. And you look like this and you don't have to do anything? Yeah. I dislike you. I dislike you, man. I'm so jelly. I'm jelly. All right, man. So you don't eat food, but what is that craving? Like, I know you don't eat food. You look the way you look, but I... Food's delicious. Food looks good. Food smells good. What's that one kind of food, that type of food you really, really would wish you could try? I'm really thinking maybe chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. Why chocolate? It just looks so rich and delicious. Yeah, I agree with that statement, man. All right. So do you like milk chocolate better or dark chocolate? Ooh, I think I'm going to go dark chocolate. Ooh. Mmm, okay. I see you. I'm a milk chocolate kind of guy. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's not an uh-oh. That sounds good. You're a uh-oh. <laughs> All right, man. So you told me you worked at Disneyland for a little bit for a summer job. How was it working at Disneyland? Is that where you got all your funniness from? Is that where you got your spark? Uh, I don't know. I think I was funny before that. Okay. So were you always the funny kid in your family? Yeah. I'm an only child, so I'm definitely the most funny child. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Dude, you got to stop that. I'm trying to oh, no. You can do that. <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying. I know. I know. I'm trying, my man. You just make me laugh too much. I can't speak. Okay. All right. First expressions are a big thing, especially I looked up some funny things. I looked up how it works. First expressions are a really big thing. So what would you say is your first expression of me so far? You're talking about first impression? Yeah, first impression. Sorry about that. First impressions. You have a lot of animals on your shirt. That's a very true statement. Can you guess the animal that's on my shirt? Can you see it? Is it a jackalope? Yeah, it's a jackalope. It's a big jackalope. It's got patterns. It's got everything like that. Four legs. It eats animals. You know, the jaguars, you know? Nice. All right, man. What has been the coolest thing you've done so far? Oh, I just like meeting people, whether it's in person, online. I like okay. saying hi to folks and making, um, making real connections, you know? 
That's really amazing. So do you feel like since you didn't have a lot of siblings or anything like that, that you feel like you had to make more connections and that you really tried harder so you can make more friends? Uh, I don't have too many friends. Okay. So is that because you're shy? Probably. Okay. So what, what would you try to do? What has been the really big issue? Like everyone's a little different kind of shy. They're sh shy of publics, they're shy of girls, they're shy of all those things. You have a girlfriend, obviously, so you can't be shy of that. So then if you can take, get a girlfriend, why are you so shy in publics and stuff? If you can definitely talk online and all those things, what makes you so shy? I don't know. I just, I have a hard time coming up with stuff to say to people, like when I have conversations. Okay. And it's just, I, I can't really describe it. It's just something that I struggle with. Man, I, I feel the struggle. I mean, I struggle with... Um, I was a very unconfident person for a long time and I was ashamed of myself and everything like that because I just wasn't who I was and I hid that and I lied about that. So I really understand the struggles, but um, soon enough, I, uh, I figured out how to change that about myself and I became who I am as a human being. So what would you say? And I'm very confident now. So my advice to you to become more confident is to, you know how I have a lot of animals on my t-shirt and stuff is to start wearing weird clothes in public I have a hard time finding size zero <laughs> all right all right I see you I see you all right man back to the actual jokes you're not gonna guess my jokes this time I wrote that many okay what do sea monsters eat I don't know fish and chips uh oh <laughs> All right, man. Hit me up. What you got? My friend Lisa just got her real estate license. Now she's my home girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So what do you do for your main jokes? As why for right now, you're telling me cheesy jokes. Cheesy jokes for me are the best. That's why I'm laughing so much. I enjoy the most. That's why I wrote them down to the most. Do you like doing any other jokes, like knock-knock jokes, mama jokes, like making fun of people jokes, or do you like, like, there's lots of different kinds of jokes you can do. What do you prefer to like to do? I like just cheesy jokes that have, like, a double meaning. I think those okay. are fun. Yeah, those are absolutely fun. So on, tell me about your show on TikTok. Tell me about, like, advertise to your audience. You're going to get about 10,000 people or more are going to be watching the show and more will be once I post it. So tell me about the advertisement of your show. Tell me about why you do it. Why do people want to watch it? Okay, so I make TikToks. It's called Peter Prankster. And I go on there. I, I use a lot of, um, I go on Omegle a lot. It's a website where you meet strangers and do a video chat. Okay. And I like going on there and just making people laugh. That's what, uh, what I do a lot of the time now. Um, and then I also do public pranks sometimes where we go out to like a park. That's we have amazing. real actors and we, we just do like social experiment kind of things and just see what kind of reactions we can get, you know? That's amazing. So a lot, so you're a very shy person. That very much shocks me, really, honestly. I know a lot of shy people and they do not do a lot of things you do. And so... You said you meet a lot of famous people and everything like that. How has that been? How has that experience, meeting famous people and going to see famous people? It's been fun. I, I just, I watch a lot of TV. So it's like when you can see somebody you've seen on TV in person, it's like just a, a really unique experience, you know? Okay, so let's talk about that more. So you were only sibling for, you've just been only sibling for your whole life. So do you wish you had a brother or sister that you grew up with? I do, I do. I wish I had some more people around to be like in my corner. Yeah, I, I feel that. Right now I'm in Nashville and I have a girlfriend and she's absolutely amazing. There's nothing wrong with that. But when I was, be, I was in Texas and I moved here, it was just a good opportunity. I needed to get away. And I had a lot of friends, like my best friends, people I grew up with for like years of time. And we always had fun. And I never really realized once I left and I came to Nashville, how much it's so hard to make friends and it's so hard that you can get lonely. And it's actually kind of, it, it makes you kind of sad. But one thing I figured out about loneliness is that it really makes you think. 
about yourself and like what things you can work on, everything like that. So the experience has been really good and it's made me smarter in knowing myself more. So do you feel like because you didn't have much experience growing up that you got to know yourself more? I guess you could say that. Okay. Okay. So also what qualities about yourself that you felt like you lost because you didn't have any friends or social outpoints? Uh, I missed out on some social events. You know, people hang out a lot. You, you see the Snapchats and the different things where people are in big groups. And I do it sometimes, but I feel like I don't get to as much as I want to, you know? Okay. So did you ever, did you go to public school? Were you homeschooled? What was, how was schooling for you? Uh, it was okay. Um, I went to a different schools. I went to like six or seven different schools. Wow. So it was hard. Yeah, I I don't have an experience in that. I just stayed in one school my whole life. But the person that I do have some resemblance to is that uh, my mom. She had to move a lot back and forth. And it was a really hard time for her emotionally, personally. And it was a really hard time to make friends. And she was very awkward and shy. And I can see how that you relate to that. And so, but you're so interactive with me now. And you're so interactive with helping other people. Do you make people laugh so you, that gives you that kind of uh, inspiration, that smile towards yourself that you're like, I'm making a difference? For sure, yeah. That's amazing. That's really amazing. That's really super cool of you to be able to put a smile on someone's face. Like I always say, a smile on someone's face can change the day. All right, man. So did you ever think you would be here today? Uh, doing this live or alive? Not the live, really about your life. Did you ever think you would be here today doing TikToks, just being, just being yourself and be able, I, actually, yeah, this live. Would you ever think you would be here today doing, being popular on TikToks, being on lives, making people happy? Actually, no. I just, I started this hobby as something fun to do. And I didn't, I didn't really think about gaining a following, but I downloaded TikTok about almost a year ago. I started posting and it was like, it just took off and I, I was really surprised. That's really amazing. That's a, uh, do you, do you believe in God? Do you believe in all those, re any religious things? Yeah, of course. So do you feel like God brought you TikTok to uh, bring out the shyness in you? Yeah, that you could say that it ha it's helped me some. That's really cool. That's really cool. So um, I believe in God too. And I feel like he does a lot of things for me. And that I feel like with whatever qualities he gives us, that he wants the qualities he didn't give us personally, that he wants us to grow and find it ourselves. Like that's going to be our experience throughout life. So the shyness was one of yours. Do you feel like you wish you weren't shy or are you happy that you went through everything you've been through and you're still working on yourself personally with that? I mean, a little bit of both. I, I'm, I'm okay with who I am, but I think everybody would like a, a taste of being better or different, you know, just the grass is always green on the other side kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. All right, my man, let's get away from the seriousness a little bit. So tell me, let's get back to the jokes. Let's get back to the funniness. Tell me a joke, my man. Give me two times, two times jokes. Okay. Why did the chicken go to the gym? Oh, man, I mean, I just forget to say why did chicken cross the road? I know that one. Okay. Why did chicken go to the gym? The grow chicken legs. Oh, dang it. All right. What is it? To work on his pets. Oh, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. You want to uh -oh, don't, don't take anything off now. Oh. oh, come on. I thought you didn't like my, my animals. <laughs> All right, my man. All right, my turn. Why does Snoop Dogg use an umbrella? I don't know. For the drizzle. <laughs> the drizzle? Yeah. You got drizzle, man? No. What? You got the yellow hair, the spiky yellow hair. Yeah. That's super freaking awesome. You're like a headbanger. <laughs> All right. Do, do, it anyone... again, do it again. That's so cool. <laughs> you do it. All right. I love your hair the most. Your hair is so freaking spiky, man. I love it. I love the style. I wish I could be able to do that. Sometimes people tell me I look like that one character from The Incredibles. 
Oh. The hot woman one that's blue too? No. Oh, who? Either Jack Jack or, or not Jack Jack, Dash or Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't think <laughs> Where'd you go, man? Where'd you go? Oh <laughs> What happened? <laughs> you look I like had to comb my hair, it looked bad. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man back to the seriousness a little bit all right so what advice would you give people that were shy what advice so you went through all the shyness and you went through all the troubles and i bet you have improved a lot i bet you have really improved and you really done a lot of things you think you would have not done so what advice would you give people who are a little shy and a little nervous doing public things i would say take baby steps like if you can moving a little bit each day or each week or whatever, do that. So like, if you're afraid of performing in front of a large crowd, then try performing in front of two or three people and then five and then just keep getting bigger until, whoa, my hair. Oh yeah, you got, you got a little alfalfa there. Sorry, okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> just work your way up. Are you good? I'm trying to be serious. I'm sorry. I, that was inappropriate. You're okay. You're okay. You're awesome, man. My nails match your hair. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. So you were talking about steps. Have you been through these steps yourself? Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people like I would say myself that I've done a lot of things myself where I've given advice to people, but I haven't personally done it myself. And I felt like a, a hypocrite, a crook a little bit. So I stopped giving advice for a year, honestly, no motivation. If anyone asked me, I didn't really give them advice unless I knew. And then I started to experience a lot more things and I started to understand. And now I give advice because I feel like I can help people and become a life coach for that. And so with being shy, do you feel like you were always a critic or a crook a little bit when you find another shy person and they would go through problems and you would try to give them advice but you never did it yourself? Yeah, kind of. I, I try to take my own advice, but it's hard. Yeah. And what is the scariest thing about your own advice? What advice have you given to someone but you haven't really followed yourself? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that's a hard question. So let me ask that again in a different way. What advice have you given? Okay, so what advice have you given yourself? Basically, I asked myself advice that I gave myself one day was like, I told myself I was, what's how I say this the proper way? I was um, lying to everyone. I was a liar. I was such a bad liar. I believe my own lies. And all my friends, I was losing my family, my friends, my loved ones. No one wanted to talk to me because I was always lying to them. And they never believed me. So I told myself one day that I'm going to stop lying. But the next day I didn't. And it took until a coincidence where I hurt someone a lot. And I finally said, I'm not going to lie anymore. Have you, done, have you experienced something like that with the shyness? Uh, not really. No. Why would, so is it because you haven't gotten out of your comfort zone yet to like move around and try to experience things that would get you out of your comfort zone? Yeah. I mean, it's good advice to put yourself outside of your comfort zone. It doesn't mean that I do it that often. I guess that would be a good example of not yeah. using your own advice. Yeah, absolutely. Getting out of your comfort zone is hard. It is. I was, it was hard not to lie. It was hard to say I wear a nail. I love wearing nails. I love wearing t-shirts and things like that, that people don't usually, I grew up in a very country town. So th this and stuff like this was not a thing. That's the thing you get bullied for and made fun of. And so it took me a long time to be able to get up and say, this is who I am. This is how I'm going to walk and talk. And it was nerve wracking. I was scared out of my mind. Have you been at that point where you're just so you were doing something, but you were so scared out of your mind. You just can't do it. 
Yeah, I, I was in a musical once and I had to sing for like 7,000 people. Wow. I didn't know how I was going to handle it. I was nervous, but I went out there and did it and it wasn't as bad. I think that's the, the thing in life. Things are not as bad as they seem. It's just intimidating. But when you get out there and actually do it, it's just, it's no big deal, you know? And isn't it so good to be able to face your fears? Like that feeling once you do it, it's just such an amazing feeling. It is. It's a, it's a feeling you can't describe. It's just the joy and the happiness. And not a lot of people do it. And that's why I always try to convince people, not convince people, that's a wrong word to use. Help people, improve people to be able to be their selves more. Because being yourself is the most amazing thing. And one of the things that you are is that you're not ashamed to say you're shy. You're not ashamed to be a puppet. You're not ashamed to all these things. And that's a super cool thing to not be ashamed of yourself. And that's what makes you an inspiration. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, man. But also, my next question is, let's see here. What's a good question to ask you? So you became a side actor. But I never really asked you, what made you want to become an actor? I know it's to be funny and to all those things, but like, there's so many things to acting. What made you want to become an actor? To be honest with you, I wanted to see myself on TV. <laughs> what was it like seeing yourself on TV? It was crazy. That's amazing. So what was your first, what was your first experience when you saw yourself on TV? What was it? What was that feeling? What's, what was it? What was that feeling inside? You was like, wow. Or was it like, oh my God, something like that. Yeah, I started getting text messages from people that were watching it. It was in a Hallmark movie. And people were like, oh my gosh, is that you? And I said, yeah. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Have, what was the hardest? I know you were shy, but was there any other hard parts about acting for you? I mean, I haven't had anything really where I've had lines. I just, oh. I'm kind of like a, a extra or a background actor. But okay. yeah, it's been really hard. Okay, yeah. so, oh, I'm so sorry for interrupting. No, go ahead. Uh, my next question is, with the acting and everything, I know you said you're shy and you want to be the side profile and everything like that, but there's also main characters who are not the main one, you know what I mean? But there's also side characters to those main characters. Do so you feel like you could ever get to the stage to the side character, to a main character? Uh, I guess I could, but I, you know, I, I, I mentioned earlier, I don't want the fame and what comes with it. So I wanna, if I'm gonna be a celebrity or famous or whatever, I wanna be like a low, pri low profile, you know? Yeah, I, absol I absolutely agree with you. So let's talk about TikTok more. Why do you think you have gotten so popular on TikTok and what did you do to want, well, let me ask that again in a different way. So you started TikTok, you become funny, and to advertise it. But TikTok, there's so many ways. You said Omega. I did Instagram to get a little bit popular and show my stuff. But TikTok wasn't as popular at first like a year ago. It wasn't as popular as a thing. So what made you want to choose TikTok? I, I knew about the platform, but I wasn't on it. And I was on a lot of other social medias. So I, I had friends that were on it and I was like, I need to, I need to hop on that, you know, cause the more ways you can get yourself out there, the better. Yeah, absolutely. So what has been, I know you did TikTok Omega, but has there been any other ways that you really gotten yourself out there other than those social media platforms? You mean like what other, other social media? Yeah. Like not social media wise. Like you said, you went out to go make famous people and everything like that. And you went to, we worked as Disney and stuff like that. But like, what are your other kind of things you like to do? Your other hobbies, instead of being funny, like what other hobbies do you like to do? You like play basketball, all those things. What's your other hobbies? Okay, I like to play video games, watch some TV, okay. and, and then make the videos. I guess that's about it. Yeah, dude, that, sound, that sounds awesome. I mean, you're six years old. I mean, that's freaking insane that you can do in even, even those things. I couldn't even concept. I could barely pick up something. <laughs> So, like, what kind of video games do you like to play? And, like, do you feel like yourself being shy, that video games has really helped you be able to – that's, like, a thing. Do you feel like as shy people, a lot of shy people play video games because that's a way for them not to go outside and that's a way for them to connect with people somehow? Yeah, definitely. 
One okay. thing that's helped me though is for video games, you get a headset and you can talk to friends on there. You can make friends online or just talk to people that you know personally that have it and you can like have conversations while you play your game. So that's been nice. Dude, that's, that's really amazing. I never was a video game kind of guy. My parents never allowed video games in the house. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, they never allowed video games in the house. They taught me I'll just go outside and just be outside all day. They would ring a cowbell to get me inside. They'd be like, dinner's ready. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. So back to a little bit off the seriousness. Give me another joke, my man. Uh-oh. Okay. Why did the baseball stadium get hotter after the game? Because everyone was taking off their clothes. What kind of baseball games do you go to? <laughs> I, don't. I mean, like, think about like uh, the baseball players got to take off their clothes to like to change out into regular clothes. So I was thinking maybe that would be the way. No. Okay. What? What's the answer? Okay. Why did all the baseball stadium? What? No. Why did the baseball stadium get hotter after the game? The answer is all the fans left. Oh, that makes so much sense. Man, don't you feel like a little like, I should have knew that after every single joke you can't figure out? Someone said, how would that make it hotter? When there's no fans, there's no air conditioning. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So why, okay, so let us, let's do, let, let me think of a joke. I can think of one in my head. What would you call a bear with no teeth? I don't know. A gummy bear. You made that up on the spot? Yes, I actually did. I wrote down a lot of jokes, but I was thinking, like, as we were talking, I said, you're a jokester. I'm trying to think of someone on my spot, but that was the one I could come up with. I made up a joke, too. All right, let me hear it. Um, oh, my gosh. Hang on. You know, whenever you have something in your mind and as soon as you try to think of it you go blank yeah absolutely okay what kind of bugs follow coronavirus guidelines not white uh, uh not texans i know it's not texans um i have no idea socially distance <laughs> I mean, you never have to worry about that, man. You have no legs. You're always inside. Okay. So let me tell you this. How did you get a girlfriend being shy? That's my one question. We came in a bundle. Say that one more time. We came in a bundle. <laughs> it was a two for one deal. <laughs> so you guys were basically meant to be. <laughs> they were basically born at the same time. <laughs> That's a little creepy. That's a little creepy. <laughs> See, what had happened was she's been with me since birth, and I went on Instagram and took a poll to ask people if she should be my girlfriend or my sister. What did they say? Oh, what's my girlfriend? <laughs> How did you get me to say that? I knew it was your girlfriend. That was a good, you, you put that up really well, man. All right, man. So back to the shyness thing, because that's a really big thing. Being shy can really affect you throughout life. It can, it can have a hard time getting a girlfriend. It can have a hard time being social with friends. It can have a hard time getting jobs. Really just have a hard time you getting out there and trying to be yourself and be more confident. So what steps did you take to try to be more confident? Uh, I try to talk to people, have conversations. Sometimes I can't think of things to say, and so I don't talk to that many people. But going online and talking to people for these comedy videos, that's helped me with the conversation thing. Like, I just ask dumb questions, and they don't judge me most of the time. <laughs> so I, it's helped me for sure. This is why I call it the Everyone Show. I, that's why I call it the Everyone Show, and you're a true example to that. I call it the everyone show because everyone is welcome without being judged. One of the things I truly, yeah. 
one of the things I try to advertise on the show is that I want to talk deeper things like being shy is a huge thing in life. And that if someone on here that is shy watches us and sees you, that's an inspiration to maybe help them not want to be as shy as most. And that's why I do the show. It's just a lot of fun. That's so cool. And I'm happy you're on here, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> hey, you call me Daddy. I'm going to have to come over there and spank you. Oh, yeah. I'm naughty. <laughs> All right. You okay? I'm good. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry I freaked you out there. That was a little too far, you think? Someone said I can't stop watching. It's like a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. All right, all right, all right. All right, so I do motivational speaking. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to become a life coach. I do personal, I do modeling personal training. Which of those three objects would you like to do? Like, personally, like, would you could see yourself doing something like that? Ooh. I think it'd be cool to be a model. Okay. Okay. I can see it. You're gorgeous. So why would you, out of those options, why would you want to be a model? Because I'm not that good at motion, 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 motiva motivational speaking mm. or speaking in general. See, that's, that's a weird thing, man, because you're doing quite well. Like, with my dyslexia, like, seriously, like, I stuttered. I had issues. Like, I could literally not have a conversation with someone without messing up until I was probably 17, and I'm 19 now. And now, I finally, I was like you, I started doing these shows, and I started, like, talking on my stories. And it, I messed up tons, and people make fun of me for my grammar issues and stuff and text messages and stuff. But it really t helped me became more confident. So I don't think it's a weird thing for you to say you struggle with this, man. But I understand why you uh, you say that. But I really hope that someday you don't have this, uh, that you improve and that you're able to become better from this because I was able to do it and I feel amazing. And so I really hope that you're able to do it yourself, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, I do. Absolutely. You're an inspiration to me because you're shy, but you're on here. And you're doing your things, you're becoming a TikTok, but you also make people happy. And that's one of the things I love to do, but you're doing it in a way that's genuinely awesome. And that's a true inspiration. And that's why I say, man, you're not shy. To me, you're not shy at all. And that's a super cool thing. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, back to the jokes. We got 10 minutes left. Give me five jokes. And I'll give oh, wow, you that's a lot. That's a lot of jokes. Give me five jokes for the last 10 minutes. Let's see okay. what we got. What what did one hat say to the other? Time to go on my head. Oh, you're so close. You wait here. I'll go on ahead. Oh, man. That was close. That was close. Ah, I almost had it. All right. All right. Let's see here. When do computers heat up? I mean, overheat. When you put them in a microwave. No, when they need the vent. <laughs> when they need a vent? <laughs> when they need the vent. You play Among Us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your turn, your turn. Second one, let's see what you got. Okay, what do you call a magic dog? Abracabra. Abracabra. I can't say that word. No, I don't know. You're so close, again. Labracadabrador. Oh, I was close. Uh, I'm going to get one. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. How do you stop a bull from charging? A bull? A bull. B-U-L-L. -L. You put it in a fence area. No. Cancel its credit card. <laughs> what? Cancel its credit card. I don't get it. I don't cancel the credit card. So why did you stop a bull from charging? Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. Because you canceled the credit card. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was that. Okay. You're too man. It. Uh, what do you call a belt with a watch on it? Oh, what do you 
call a dog with a watch on? No, a belt. <laughs> no, that. Okay, let me let me start over. You didn't you didn't hear me. What do you call a belt with a watch on it? Oh, what do you call? I thought you said dog. What a belt with a watch on it? A wristband. No. No. What is a it? Okay. Say it again. A waste of time. Oh, okay. Man, I, these are hard, man. Okay, I got a riddle for you. Okay. Okay, so there's this green door. And only certain things can go in it. A raccoon can go in it. But a raccoon can go in it, but a cat can't. A squirrel can go in it, but a mouse can't. My brother Connor can go in it, but I can't. What can go in the door? Only things that have double letters in their name. God damn it, you knew this one. Or wait, okay, be honest though. Did you actually guess that? Or were you actually like, you already knew it? I already, well, I never heard that joke before, but I, I, I've heard that kind of thing. Okay, got it, okay, okay. By the way, as a six year old, what would you say is the hardest thing you've experienced in your life so far? Uh, making friends. Making friends. Well, you made new friends today. Who? Oh, me, man, me, me. The, the guy with the too much animals on his shirt. That's cool. Yeah, man. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to do it. Oh, by the way, I'm very excited to do this show with you. I've been thinking. You asked me a couple questions, like, what's my talent? I was like, do I have talent? So I was like, uh... <laughs> So I was like, I figured out my talent, so I'm ready for tomorrow. Okay, cool. By the way, what time is for tomorrow? What time are we doing? I don't know. Whatever, whatever works for you. You want to do the afternoon? Sure. Dude, I can't wait. You want to do, uh, let's do uh, 3 p.m. Okay. All right, I'm ready to go on Mango. I've never been on it ever, ever. Nice. It's fun. Okay, cool. All right, man. So... All I got to say is thank you for being on the show. Thank you for being on the Everyone Show. And I can't wait to be on your show, man. I'll catch thank you, you later. So much. It's been okay, a great bye. time. Bye-bye.